The new X4 Standard Series utility tractors from McCormick feature a standard 540 RPM independent rear PTO with simple but somewhat unique controls for its operation. This video will explain how to engage and disengage the rear PTO for these new tractor models. There are two main controls for operating the rear PTO. There is a yellow hand lever beneath the steering wheel on the right side of the front console. This spring-loaded hand lever operates the main PTO clutch for starting and stopping the PTO shaft's rotation. When the lever is in the down position, the PTO clutch is engaged. When the lever is raised, the PTO clutch is released. A second yellow hand lever on the left side of the operator's seat selects the PTO drive gear. Now, this lever has three positions. The forwardmost position engages the ground speed PTO gear which synchronizes the PTO's rotation speed with the speed of the tractor's rear wheels. This means that the faster the tractor drives, the faster the rear PTO spins. The lever's middle position is a neutral position where no drive gear is engaged. And lastly, the rearmost position engages the 540 RPM drive gear for standard implement operation. Using the rear PTO is a very simple task. First, release the main PTO clutch by lifting the handle beneath the steering wheel until it locks into place. Then, with your left hand, select the PTO drive gear that you wish to use, in this case, a 540 RPM speed. Then, engage the rear PTO clutch by lowering the front hand lever. The operator can actually use the hand lever to feather PTO engagement for soft or harsh PTO operations. One important note. If the rear PTO will not be used for an extended period of time, it is highly recommended that the PTO drive gear be placed in the neutral position and that the PTO clutch hand lever be placed in the lower position. Doing this releases the clutch spring tension and will ensure a long service life of your PTO system.